matter of dead man not it was in uh, published in popular science and this was the first space maker but something interesting gets always hidden five years before him an australian anesthesiologist mark lidwell used current to revive a dead child because of a cardiac arrest so that was the first recorded event where a current can be utilized to stimulate the heart and recover the rhythm so it's a matter of pride of all anesthesiologists to say that it is not an cardiologist who discovered a pacemaker but an anesthesiologist then 1951 paul zoll came with the temporary pacemaker this is not a ventilatory circuit but a patient walking with a pacemaker then came the era of the temporary pacemaker it was in uh, 1956 nowadays people are walking with uh, cell phone and other uh, electronic gadgets but in 70s and 80s people will be walking with a transistor listening to old movie song what the circuit in pacemaker required uh, the dimension required for a temporary pacemaker circuit was seen in the transistor so what they did is they removed the loud speaker inside the transistor and paste the circuit of the temporary pacemaker so that it can space so it was called like a transistor without a loud speaker then came the era of temporary pacemaker and the dimension required for the circuit of a temporary permanent pacemaker was around 55 into 16 mm so they were looking for some some mechanical things which holds a circuit so then came the kivi shoe polish which had the same dimension in fact first three permanent pacemaker was paced with or the circuit was paced in the kivi shoe polish and then sterilized and then as the year progress the size and weight of the pacemaker has come down now leadless pacemaker is also come where you don't lead, need any lead a leadless uh, capsule will be placed in the right ventricle and it will start pacing so coming to the normal conduction the rhythm work originates at the sa node and it travels to the av node and then to bundle of is then right and left bundle then fans into purkinje fibers this is a normal conduction of the heart here you can see the normal conduction comes from the sa node av node bundle is and perkinje fibers so what happen if one conduction is not delayed here the first conduction is not delayed and the second one is getting conducted 